so what's up youtube right here i'm working on a 2016 um dodge charger 5.7 motor i got it all disassembled um because one of my camshaft lobes or lifters is shot on cylinder number three misfire and it's giving me also multiple misfires so what i did first thing i did um i removed the valve cover removed all the spark plug Remove all the spark plugs, rotated the engine, and I know it was in cylinder number three. So what I did, I checked out um, how much my rocker was moving in cylinder number three, and you know, damn sure, um, it just moved the one sixteenth, and then it stopped moving. So you know, um, that indicated, you know, definitely um, camshaft or camshaft um, lifter is shot. So um, before that, I also um, Change spark plugs, swapped out coils, swapped out fuel injectors, and I'm like, Ugh, there's something that's that is internal. So right now, I'm removing everything. Um, if you guys are doing this at home, just a heads up: the heads, those manifold bolts that go here in the side, leave those alone for now and go through the um, the flange that you know connects into the catalytic converter. Remove those two bolts, which they're easy and they're just two. Um, obviously, you're gonna need an impact, a lot of you know, um, a lot of penetrating oil, a little bit of heat, and it'll come right off easily. So, um, so yeah, I'll I'll um, show you guys more videos. All right, so I came, I removed the lifters. And look what I got. So when I removed the whole unit which is a bolt right here, eight millimeter. I found this one. And I also found that it was, it's supposed to be like this, you know, with the flat top and bottom. It was on the side, right? So I removed it and yup, look what I see. See that? That is destroyed. So it's definitely um, this got stuck or rotated for some weird reason. Then I come over here. This supposed to fit tight. See it? No movement whatsoever. And yeah, definitely um, looks like it rotated in there. Maybe it locked up or something and that's when it started acting up. And then these are supposed to be, you see? No wiggle room whatsoever so i ordered the whole set i just hope it comes with this plastic piece lifters holders i guess that, i don't know I haven't checked it but yeah that's what it is and um so this is it it's crazy how you gotta remove the heads to get into the lifters all right so this is the cam right here and as you can see look at all that pitting I mean, if this didn't happen, look at that lobe. That lobe is completely out. I see it. That lobe is completely worn out. That lobe, if I'm not wrong, is supposed to match the lobe right next to it, just a little offset. Look how much it worn out. Who knows when it happened? Exactly, but look at all that pitting. All that pitting. What is that? How, you know, how is that kind of possible? Obviously, it's worn out. So, all right, guys. So I finally got both heads out and the camshaft. What a headache! Let me tell you, what a headache. Never want to do it again. Um, obviously still not installed. So let me show you guys what the cam looks like. You know, so I don't know if I mentioned, but this cam was um, installed at 30,000 miles. It's 90,000 miles now. So that makes it 60, you know, thousand miles later, um, which is normal. I don't know. I mean, 
it's not bad i guess but it, it could be worse usually a cam lasts up to 100 if not more right you know lifetime so i don't know where dodge went wrong on this but but that's it man um maybe i'll go ahead and do a video once it's all installed and and all that thing um a few tips is um from the heads to remove the exhaust manifold don't remove it from the head remove it down from the exhaust pipe um ac you don't have to disconnect it just put a zip tie and let it hang uh but everything else kind of um this right here what is this ac transmission cooler this doesn't have to be um completely disconnected you know just let it hang here and and it comes out right through the side i mean obviously if you guys got the money and the time to remove everything you know because then once you remove those lines transmission you know fluid um you got to put some ac um free on and all that stuff but yeah you know bumper wire harnesses all of that got to be removed um yeah so right now i'm about to check my my camshaft bearings make sure they're all good and hopefully they are because i wouldn't want to do that in the car i mean i can but i'm just gonna slap this on all right guys you know thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe